Everybody comes to me and says, oh, we had one billion impressions for that. I said, well, what does that mean, you know? I really don't need brand awareness, quite honestly. I mean, I love it, but I really don't need brand awareness for Coca-Cola. What I want is people expressing. So I, I think about the chain of impressions, expressions, conversations that ultimately lead to transactions. If we're not in those conversations, then we'll be that'll be a problem for us. So uh, with, relative to media mix, um, you know, television is still going to be important. That's where people sit uh, and engage and kind of tune out, but we see certainly huge trends in kind of social TV, people multitasking, particularly millennials. Uh, my own young uh, teenagers who give me such a hard time. They, uh, they're always, you know, they're multitasking when they're watching something on television. So television will still be a very important part. It isn't going away. What it is going to be is content that goes on every screen. And so the reality is at this point, there's not enough investment, I would say, probably not even by my company, in the mobile space. Uh, we, there, that's where the eyeballs are. You gotta fish where the fish are. So I think the one thing that we're trying to get our handle around and hands around is how much do we allocate to mobile? Because it's a little less proven as a model. Well, maybe you can do mobile couponing. Maybe you can drive traffic to your retailers. Maybe you can drive traffic to your vending machines. All of those things are, I would say, we're in the early phase of, in fact, all marketers are in the early phases of that. So. It, it's gonna. I think it's just gonna get bigger, and ultimately it'll be a balance. The big challenge for marketers: you have a pie of money. It's not growing significantly. The big challenge is how you allocate your dollars against all these different endpoints. That's the big challenge for us. When you talk about television, the the, the what you, I think you're talking about is free-to-air television. You're not talking about tablet TV or smartphone TV. And and the the simple fact is that actually post layman, when you would have thought that would have had a big impact. What we've seen actually is more classical, more free-to-air TV watching until recently. The recent Nielsen data in the US is very interesting because it shows a decline in TV consumption plus three, that's three days after airings, to catch some of the tablet and smartphone traffic debate whether it should be plus seven uh, days to capture it fully. But what you've seen is a little bit of decline. Now, I think what you're starting to see is a shift to, to Joe's uh, point a shift in the way that people consume TV, particularly amongst uh, lower age groups, younger age groups. And our, our uh, deal with Twitter, which was announced last week, to look at Twitter data is really interesting in, the as in this aspect. Because what Twitter shows you is, you know, I do think it's a PR medium, less an advertising medium, an informational medium. And you see this traffic that takes place whilst programs are on air. In fact, if you look at the data we saw at our stream conference here in Cannes, our, our digital conference on Tuesday afternoon, we saw some of these slides on, on data, on this data on these programs. Heavy traffic during the live airing continues, but then, then falls off. What this shows you is, to Joe's point, is that engagement on TV through other media, in this case a social media, is very, very powerful. What we're also, what is really interesting for the purposes of this audience, in particular, the newspapers in this audience, of the classical type, that we might even have some data which demonstrates that legacy newspapers, you know, felling trees and distributing newsprint, and digital newspapers actually might be more effective in terms of engagement than we actually think. Because some of the, the traffic that we're seeing on Twitter seems to indicate that the degree of engagement, so it's not about reach, uh, it's more about getting engagement and engaging consumers in, with the media. So I think you have to be very careful about definitions, and I think you have to be very careful about how the where the technology is taking you.